Anna, very welcome. Great to have you here. You are working with an organization called Opportunity. Can you explain in a nutshell what your organization is doing? Opportunity is an uh, initiative of the European starch potato industry and that are starch producers and potato starch, potato starch breeders and a an, uh, technology company. And the objective is to get the NGT technology as soon as possible approved in Europe. Mm -hmm. And that's the first objective. And the second objective is uh, that we have decided to put our money where our mouth is and that we say it would be very good if we can develop a new variety with this technology and to use that as a demonstration variety to show the broader public the possibilities of this technology soonest. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, uh, a laudable goal. But uh, do I hear you say that the majority of the European potato starch chain is represented in this project? Yeah, we have uh, parties from Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. And I think we cover up to 70% of the production in Europe. Okay. Oh, that's great. That's a, that's a very decent chunk yeah. of, that, uh, of that chain. You mentioned uh, NGTs, gene editing. Uh, and of course, we know that in July of this year, the EU Commission came out with its, with its uh, NGT proposal. Uh, what is your take on the proposal that is now on the table? Um, well, first, we're glad that the regulation is now on the table and that we have a proposal because it allows the European agricultural industry to become uh, more competitive in the sense of uh, getting closer to competition, mainly in North America and in uh, Brazil on plants in general, so to, to have breeding progress, because we cannot use those technologies uh, today in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, the regulation is pragmatic. Mm -hmm. The regulation foresees a timely way of approving uh, the NGT varieties. Mm -hmm. And the regulation foresees to help small and mid-sized companies in uh, getting those through the process. So overall, we're positive about the proposal. There's not much to complain. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, there is an, a labeling uh, proposal, which is also doable, pragmatic, because it is labeling of the seed mm -hmm. uh, and no labeling of the end products thereof, which is very important because okay. labeling of the end products would uh, kill the project. Yeah, yeah, of course. But of course, now we enter into a lengthy and intense process of revising and reviewing, rewriting. Well, why is it, uh, in the first place, necessary to revise the current rules? What, what's wrong with the current, uh, the current way we do things? Well, as the uh, European Commission came up with their Green Deal, mm -hmm. there are a lot of objectives to to get uh, Europe more sustainable. And for agriculture, it means uh, less use of pesticides and uh, fertilizers. And that's then described in the uh, farm to fork strategy, but it's also about uh, CO2 reduction. It's about circular economy. Mm -hmm. And the EU commission in all their wisdom proposed within the green deal also mm -hmm measures for uh, the agricultural uh, value chains to become more sustainable. And one of them is the use of NGTs. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the current uh, GMO regulation is unworkable. The, the requirements for approval are so high that it's virtually uh, impossible is nothing, but rather difficult mm -hmm. and very costly yeah. to get it approved. And that means that the timelines you have to get a variety approved are so long mm -hmm. that 
the newness of your variety then is gone the moment you come to the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is uh, still uh, quite a long, a long way to go. Uh, I wish you good luck in that revision process. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Martin.